All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Jay Myrax, aka F Major, and this video is going to be basically a follow up to the altruism integrating machine with logic tutorial that I did. Um, I got a lot of good feedback on that, but I see a lot of people are still getting stuck with a few of the, the points that I brought up in the video, so I just wanted to clarify things. One of the main questions I get from a lot of people that see the video is like, you know, they're asking like, hey, I've made you, you know, I did everything that you said to do in the video. I followed it exactly. You know, I even downloaded the template. But as soon as I go into my control mode by using the shift control, and then I go to that master template, like you said, and I hit the pads, and I get no sound. And I don't know what's going on. Can you please help me? Please, I'm getting no sound. So, I'll explain. You're getting no sound because when you set up the sound MIDI batch setup, you use the default root note. So, when you open up sound MIDI batch setup, it allows you to specify a MIDI channel as well as a root note. And by default, the root note is C3. So, when you go to this massive template, and the massive template loads up and it goes automatically to group A. What's happening is group A does not correspond to that root note. The root note C3, that's the default, actually lives in group E. You feel me? So basically it's the root note setting that's off. The root note setting determines the range which the sound to MIDI notes mode is going to map to. So if I change my sound MIDI batch setup and say I want to change the root note from the default to be C minus 1 instead, I'm going to apply that. Now what happens is in my massive template, if I hit the pad on E, like on group E, you hear no sound. But if I go back to A now, you got sound. So that root note is the important step that you have to take care of. You have to make sure that the root note that you set corresponds to the, the pad range or the, the MIDI note range that you actually want to use. I typically will use, you know, massive E because it's just, you know, it's easy for me to rem remember. It's the default setting. I don't have to do a lot of changing to do that. All I got to do is just go to group E in this massive template. And, you know, by default, it's usually set there. But, you know, if you don't use that, if you want to use group A, all you need to do is change the root note. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, I'm going to do some more videos later about how to track things out because I'm getting a lot of questions about that, getting a lot of questions about how to send sounds to the mixer. But, you know, an another quick note before I, before I leave y'all. Um, if you load up a, a, a um, instrument sound in machine, like a basically a multi-sample instrument sound that you play across the keyboard. In your sound MIDI batch setup, you should you should actually use the sounds to MIDI channel feature instead of sound to MIDI notes, because then that allows you to dedicate uh, an entire MIDI channel to that one instrument so that you can play up to 128 notes on that instrument. So instead of using the 16 note range that you get for the sounds to MIDI notes, you get 128 notes. So that means you can play it across the entire keyboard for you know however many notes that that instrument's mapped for. So that's that's one of the differences that you got to keep in mind. So I'll just I'll make it real simple for you. When you're using a drum kit, use sounds to MIDI notes. Each drum kit needs to have its own MIDI channel. 
when you're using instrument sounds, that's multi-sampled instruments that play across the keyboard, you need to use sounds to MIDI channels. Because sounds to MIDI channels will allow you to create one unique MIDI channel per instrument. Meaning, you will only be able to use 16 instruments total because you only have 16 MIDI channels. But you'll be able to keep them separated and you'll be able to access them in your DAW. So sounds to MIDI channels for multi-sample instruments. All right, so hopefully that information helps. If you have questions, feel free to you know hit me up on the comments. I usually try to answer people's questions directly on the comments. If it's the same question, what I'm gonna do, instead of answering the same question over and over on the comments, I'll just create a video for you guys and hopefully that addresses the issue. But feel free, hit me up on my website, altruist.com. You know, leave me comments there. Leave me comments on the YouTube channel as always, all right? I'll talk to y'all later. God bless. Peace.